Hey there Taggies, let's have some fun today. We're going to use the GreenShift container and just explore the alignment options it has available. As web designers and web creators, we know it's very important to have a nice looking professional website and alignment is a very important part of this. So let's get to it. Let's start by creating a navigation bar. So add a container wrapper, add your site logo, Then add the menu items or navigation block. And I always like to have some kind of call to action as well. So in this case, it will be contact me. As you can see, it's nicely stacked, but it would be nice if they are all in one row. To do so, we select the container, click the flexbox options and have them horizontally aligned. To do so in direction, press row. And there you have it. It's now nicely horizontally aligned. You also have the quick set options. You can set them as row or stacked as well. But I don't like how the blocks are aligned. So let's fix that one. Let's go to align items and choose center. By doing so, they are all nicely centered aligned. You also see the align it items option here selected as well. Now it would be nice that the logo is on the left side, the contact button is on the right side, and the navigation items would be in the center. To do so, GreenShift also has a quick select options for this one. I click this one that says justify content and select space between. As you can see, they are now nice, nicely aligned. I would like to have my logo a little bit smaller, so I will do that. Add some more spacing between the items as well. For instance, 10, there we go. That looks a little bit better. And I would like to have this button in my style. So with a little bit of border radius. And in the purple color. I really like that the GreenShift team added the quick select options. Makes it for a very quick and easy way of creating a design like this one. Next, let's add a hero section. Again, I will start by adding a container. I will add an image that I just created in Glorify. Add a heading. Add some advanced text. And let's add a call to action button, primary, and let's create that one for the secondary button. That's me. And find out more. So again, as you can see, all the items are on the page, but still there needs to be some changes to be done before it looks nicely. To do so, we can again use the quick options. So, you can click Enable Flexbox Row. By pressing it, you see that everything is aligned from left to right, just like the menu items. But it doesn't look that good, if you ask me. It says to do that everything within the container is aligned from left to right. So what we need to do is add a container that contains the heading, the text, and the two buttons. So let's add a container right now. Select all the options and drag them in the container. There we go. As you can see, the image is in one section and the text and heading in another section. But still, I think there are some things that can be improved. Let's start by 
moving the items to the right side. And let's set the minimum width of the first container at 15%. So 15%. So now the hero section is starting to look nicely. It would be nice if the contents is aligned in the center. To do so, we again press the container, select the flexbox options. This time we will enable stack. Now we want to vertically center the content. So let's press center and change the heading. Next, I would like to add some spacing between the text and the buttons. So let's add a for padding. Most of the time, I like to use M. M is a unit of measurement and it's based on the font size. So in this case, it will be the font size in here because I didn't select any font size in the sidebar. We can use inspect element. And then see the font size. The font size is 19.2 pixels. So when we do a, a margin button of 1m, it's 19.2 pixels of spacing between the text and the buttons. Next, I would like to have the buttons in one row. So we will be doing this by adding another container and putting the buttons inside the container. The container again can be aligned. Next row and should have my styling. So the advantage of green shift is that you have a very quick way of copying the attributes and as you can see there we go. Like my secondary button to be a little bit different. So what I do is have a transparent background. And give the typography a color of purple. Now there's a clear distinction between my primary and secondary button. I also would like to add some spacing and instead of adding a margin, just like we did with the text, you can also select the container and add some side gap. For example, one EM. And now we have our hero section. So now we have explored the Flexbox options. Let's explore the CSS grid options. In my opinion, it's more fun to play around with the CSS grid options. So let's get to it. To use CSS Grid, GreenShift has a very amazing CSS Grid of containers already available, which gives you some predefined layout already available. Let's pick the four column section and, and let's duplicate the containers inside. What's amazing about CSS Grid is that you can expand the container over a, a few rows and columns. So let me give an example. I want the first container to stretch from column one 
until column 4. And as you can see, it now stretches across three columns because it's from column 1 till column 4. You can also do the same thing with the row. So let me first add which row this should start and end and then add the row start of this section and we'll start on row 1 and end on row 3 as you saw the grid container that was here is now on the next line and this one is overflowing on two lines on two rows this makes for a very amazing different kind of layout let's quickly create something right so for instance we want an image here media image I think the hosting our image is amazing then add A power of here with uh, let's add a heading here with news and and add an advanced heading content and a subtitle the content being Jesus grid is amazing. Learn all about it. And let's duplicate. To add some spacing, let's add a border in the bottom of one pixel and the grayish layout. I think it's also smart to add some spacing to the subtitle. I also want to have it a have a different font strength, font size. Go there we go. Let's remove this one. Add some spacing still to the subtitle of 1M and duplicate. And there we go. Now we have a new column that will stretch two columns high, as you can see. Just like that works. And this is not the only thing you can do because there are containers within the CSS grid. You can also make some nifty changes to these containers as well. For instance, let's add an image. Let's pretend there's a news item on block versus, block versus classic theme. We'll add an image and add a container. Afterwards, within the container, we will be having a heading and a an advanced text text block versus basic theme. Let's add some text quickly. And let's add a call to action button. More. 
would like this one to be transparent and just be a label, right? So add a something like this. Now, what I look would like to do is make this section a little bit downwards. And have it on two columns. So column start one until four until three. And then would like this to be aligned from left to right. So I will pick flexbox, left and right align them. Perhaps this one should be bigger, so let's make it bigger, and there you go. Slowly but surely you will get a very interesting looking magazine style layout. Let's add a sponsor part spot on this location. So add the advanced heading, sponsor spot. Let's select it again. I want this to be a power graph having a size of 0.6 and be center aligned. After, I want to add an image of Cloudflare because that's the sponsor, but not really. And some heading. Get a big discount. CDN. And let's add a button. Check it out. And let's align it in the center. Let's give the container a background color of Cloudflare color. There we go. I think the text would look better in white. So there we go. White. This one as well. And perhaps the button also needs to be white. And the text would be Cloudflare Orange. Make it even more nicer. I would like to add some spacing to the top and bottom. As you can see, it's very narrow. So let's add one EM to top and bottom, and perhaps a point of five spacing to left and right. Now this looks like a very beautiful sponsor spot. Let's create a section in here as well. Maybe this container needs to be in a different color background. Let's add a white color background. This image should be the full height of the container. So let's see if we can get it bigger. set it to cover so that looks that looks already a little bit better I 
let's add another section oh, we're not finished with this one by the way let's add a background color of pure white now I don't like the text here so I want it to be aligned in the center and add some spacing to it as well so 1em that looks fine and let's add a border radius of 0.5 em as you can see the image is now not squared off to fix this issue go to spacing and in overflow press hidden and now you see it's nicely cornered again lastly let's add another section for news and perhaps this one is bigger so it's 75 percent height And perhaps this container should be bigger. So one, and three, two, and three. This should be two, and four. Let's add a heading here. Heading uh, with Lexus play ground so there you have it this is more of a mix with Caesar's grid and flex options but as you can see you can do a very very different kind of style using Caesar's grid I had a lot of fun exploring flexbox and CSS grid using green shift containers and seeing how you can create amazing stuff if you liked it as well please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the future. If you didn't like it, please leave a comment down below so I know how to, I can improve it in the future. And have fun creating beautiful things on the web. See you on the next one. Bye bye.